major things that we do with students start each marking period by setting goals for themselves and the, at a parent-teacher-student conference. And then they set the goal and then the parents and teachers work with them to kind of outline the plans for accomplishing that goal. We're also a selective school. So some students are coming to us with good skills to begin with. And our goal is to take students who are average and above and help them to really excel and get into kind of top level uh, college preparatory high school programs. 9% of our students this year are paying full tuition. Uh, the remaining 91% are receiving very substantial scholarship help. We're able to do that because our trustees and our development staff go out and raise $1.4 million in the course of the year to help with that scholarship fund support. The teacher at Community Prep has a lot of freedom and a lot of ability to have a big impact on our community. And, and when I talk to some teachers and some public schools, they sometimes feel like they're walking uphill. I would love for money to follow the child so that that parental decision to send a child to that school, the parent is seen as the customer and the student is seen as somebody that really needs to be served well in order for that school to continue to thrive. I love all kinds of educational choice. So I like charter schools. I was active in the trying to get charter schools legislation in Rhode Island and we were successful. But I think it's likely that we will help another nonprofit start a charter school that it would be a K through five charter. We would eliminate our third, fourth, and fifth grades and keep our sixth, seventh, and eighth grades.